Oh, <laughs> yes. That's Speaking what, of wavelengths. That's what it was. Okay. Welcome to Zappable, a phone soap podcast. Uh, we're here to create a path for better understanding of health and wellness. After 10 years of experience with UVC light disinfection, we're eager to take you on a journey that opens your mind to a new wavelength of learning. Mm, I like that. Well, we'll get in the hang of this, um, but we're really excited to be back with more episodes. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to keep these cranking out and we're going to keep learning together. So today we have Dan Barnes, the man himself. Great to be here. Um, and we will start this off uh, a little differently than we have before. As part of the Zappable and Phone Soap community, we want to hear from you guys. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask by leaving them in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, and today we will answer a couple of them. And we want to answer as many as we can in the future. Um, and we'll bring them up right here on Zappable. Um, so the first question that we have is concerning our How Germy Is It videos. Nice. We've been having lots of people who yes. are wondering where are the How Jeremy videos? Like, where are they? Hey, we're, and we're if you them. send comments, Dallin's reading them. So, right, be, be I, nice enough. Yeah, we read everything. So, and I mean, I'm I don't I'm pretty thick skinned So, uh -huh. anything you say doesn't really hit me too hard. But sometimes, you leave a mark. Yeah, sometimes. But to answer this person's question, you will be happy to know that we are starting weekly how jeremy vi videos again starting today that's a commitment right there so if you're listening to this podcast it's wednesday um every wednesday we're we're going to be posting how jeremy is it videos so and, and we're just trying to freak you out about the world around you right i yeah. mean that's our goal the world is gross that's and right don't go outside we want to remind you we want to remind you um and it's it's fun. We we learn new things with it, um, and we want to test out more things. So once yeah. again, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, and we'll keep them going and possibly do those ones in future installments. And in reality, we believe that germs are important. Yeah. Just having some fun with it. And another phrase that we like to use around here is we're not germaphobes, we're germ conscious. Mm, beautiful. And because yes. it, it is important to know like what we're exposed to. Right. Because some germs are good, some good germs are bad. That's right. And maybe we've talked about this in other podcasts, but it's really about the burden of that bacteria. How much are we interacting with? So Exactly. So those videos are fun. Um, be on the lookout for more of those uh, coming soon. Now, this other question that we have, it's one that we get asked a lot. Okay. And it's kind of important to go over again and again because it's important to us. Mm. And that question is, what is so special about UVC? Mm. And this one, I'm going to leave this one up that's to you, That's great. Dan. What is so special about you? I thought that's what you were going to ask, Dallin. Yeah, what is so <laughs> special about you? VC. VC. Yeah. UVC light is exactly what we were searching for when this whole business started because because the problem we were trying to solve was how to safely clean a phone now we've changed our language some now right we say how to safely disinfect a phone but we wanted a solution that would be effective and not harmful and that's exactly what uvc light is it's a wavelength that is blocked from our atmosphere so we don't interact with it every day but we can recreate it and harness it so the power and the benefit of UVC light is that it uses no liquid, right? It's mm -hmm. a wavelength. Um, no harsh chemicals, obviously. Again, no uh, like uh, bleach or anything like that. And no heat. Now, it's not that UVC lights can't produce heat. But in the amounts that we use them, you know, there's no heat that could damage your phone. So you put those three together, all of a sudden you've got what feels almost like magic, right? Like a wavelength of light that can kill bacteria, disinfect bacteria. So that's what's special about it. It's not gonna damage your glass or your plastics or whatever your phone's made out of, 
and it's going to be effective every time. Mm -hmm. Early on, we've done tests with wipes, alcohol wipes and others, and there is user error, right? Either you're not letting it dry and evaporate property, properly to get the 99.9 .9 or 99, whatever they're saying, percent disinfection, or you're not wiping the entire surface. So there are other methods, but this is the most effective. And because it's a machine, it's effective every time. So yeah. that's what's cool about our tech is that it's 99.99% effective every time you use it. You've got the 360 degree disinfection. It's not going to damage your devices and it's going to work that same way every time. So that's what's special about you, VC. And so how did you guys, how would you guys know that this is mm -hmm. the best way to disinfect? So we tested a lot of different methods. And the cool thing about UVC is it's obviously nothing we created, right? It was um, a technology that already existed and that continues to exist. Uh, Wes, uh, my co-founder, was working in a lab where they would use UVC to disinfect, you know, their equipment that they'd use throughout the day. So um, we just took a proven technology and shrunk it down for the consumer. Then how do we know? Well, the interesting thing about UVC light is it penetrates the DNA and it effectively kills it. What that means is it, it um, makes it incapable of harming you and reproducing. Yeah. And so the only way to really know that is these How Germany videos. That's, that's what we do, right? We swab something before, we put it in our device, and then we swab it again after. And then we put both these cultures in an incubator and let them grow, mm -hmm. right? And that's how we know it's been effective. And so the before sample grows bacteria or viruses or whatever was on there, the after doesn't. And that's the proof that it worked. There are other ways to measure um, you know, bacteria count and otherwise. And with UVC light, you might see, you might get a count before and after. The difference is the count after is dead. And that's why we grow the culture. That's the proof that it's no longer active. So that's how we know we tested that with wipes. We thought about wipes early on, you know, back in 2009, any liquid on a phone was, um, you know, really not allowed. So it wasn't an option. There was no such thing as waterproof. That's back right. Then. Yeah. And so now it's now they, they are, but it's still not wise to put harsh chemicals on your phone. Yeah. So it's still the right solution. But especially then, even though you would get kill rates with some of these liquids, um, you know, it just wasn't safe. Yeah. So that's really the main way that we prove it out. Um, we started initially in-house, and then before we went commercial, we go to third-party labs, trusted labs around the country, and we send them our units, and they do tests too. So we always validate internally first, and then have a third party further validate. Yep. And like you were saying about the how germy videos. Mm -hmm. Because you can't see bacteria, right? Like you can't see it on mm -hmm. everything, yeah. And that's why we do the test, put it on the agri plate so that it grows, so right. that you can actually see it with your naked eye. That's right. And then we do the afters to show that mm -hmm. it's killing all the bacteria. And so when you're swabbing on the how germies, sometimes it's more technical, sometimes not, right? Yeah. But when we do it for our units, we put, um, we don't just swab a phone, we disinfect a phone. Yeah. And then we put a known amount of a certain types of viruses or bacteria on the device. Yeah. And so then it grows and we know the count that there was before and what's left after. So there's kind of this actually, we use our stuff to disinfect it first to then inoculate it properly with the exact amount. So we know what the kill rate is after. So the How Germany videos are awesome. They're a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes we're more scientific, yeah. others are more playful. But it's a very, you know, thought out process, again, first internally and then through a third party lab. Yeah, we do a lot when of we're actually growing and, and proving out that our stuff works. Yeah, we do plenty of testing. We know this stuff works. We know what we're we doing. This works. We're the only guys, people, company who's been doing this for 10 years Yeah, in the consumer space. Uh, uh, there's other great companies that we're, we know that do it for, um, you know, water disinfection for communities and right i mean the t again the tech's been around mm -hmm. for a long time but no one um has harnessed it and used that same type of of trusted science on the consumer space yeah so well that's a good uh segue into what our topic is today mm. um i know you know about this yes. but uh we've talked about this before on a previous episode but we're going to go into a little bit more uh, depth um it's about our Apple watch bands and that they're likely covered in bacteria. Highly likely. 
Highly likely. More than likely. <laughs> More than likely. <laughs> they are. This is one that I've talked about for years. And again, less scientifically than others just because it was an assumption, right? Yeah. Um, we've sold a lot of our product on QVC. And one of the things we'd always talk about on air, right, when we're like actively selling it to people, because we don't do that really often, but our websites talk about it. This is something that you sweat in a whole lot, right? I mean, even if you don't work out, just wearing it around your wrist is pretty smelly. And that's been a thing even before these smartwatches, like just a normal watch will get just as nasty. Like, I remember just wearing watches and I go and smell it after a Mm -hmm. couple weeks and it's, it's not pleasant. Yeah. So it's actually my favorite thing to disinfect. I think on this podcast, it potentially will be connected to a blog. If not, go to our website and we will link to some of these official studies. Yeah. And then also some of the articles that came out of those studies, really about how filthy it is. And there's just a growing consensus that, you know, all types of bacteria and germs and viruses can live and grow on these wristbands. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's one of my favorite uses of our product after a workout or after a long day or mowing the lawn or something is to come in, take off the watch and the headphones. I don't think we're talking as much about these. You should do some tests on those eventually. Yeah. But I, you know, I, I love putting my phone in it, obviously, our devices, but it's very rewarding dropping the watch in. And you could take off the band. Mm-hmm. Like if you've got a phone soap three and maybe it feels a little tight, you could take it off all the way or take off kind of one side and lay it down. But in this home soap, you know, just drop it down the middle, drop your headphones in there. And you guys know, get your 360 degree disinfection. There you go. And so we've done tests internally just mm-hmm. just for fun. Yeah. Um, and of course, they're not like 100 percent scientifically Proven, well, but we, we've we done the tests and the phone soap works the best mm-hmm. on the hard non-porous surfaces That's like right. the silicone strap or the leather strap mm-hmm. um, because those ones don't have all the, the hidden grooves mm-hmm. like the, the cloth ones can have. That's right. If you remember, the light only works where it touches. So some of these fabrics create some shadows. Now, it's still better to do it than to not do it. Yeah. You're going to get kill rate. And we, we just can't guarantee the 99.99. Mm-hmm. And I was going to notate, we actually have officially from a third party tested a smartwatch in the PhoneSoap 3. Okay. Which means you can connect it to all of our devices. But, yeah, the test that, that will be out live in the How Germany was kind of more in-house. But we, ha- we have done a third party on the smartwatch, uh, especially this face here that yeah. you're that you're touching more often. Yeah, that one definitely uh, does the job. So maybe let's talk about that a little bit more, and I'm sure we have in the past. But you know, what do we mean by hard, non-porous surfaces? So yeah, so anything that you can just visibly look at, and you can't see like anything's getting blocked or mm-hmm. covered. Um, like these like, glass surfaces, yeah, are just completely solid. And perfect. so there's. There's nothing blocking it from getting disinfected. Yep. Um, that's why also with phones, when people ask if they can disinfect their case or leave it on, we say take the case off so that you can disinfect the case separately and mm-hmm. the phone soap separately so that nothing is getting hidden by the by the yep. light. Yep. Um, but yeah, the the phone or the the watches, they they still do a really good job disinfecting, even if there's the porous surfaces like like uh these cloth uh wristbands but yeah and if you're doing it every day or once a week and you're putting it in there a little different each time mm-hmm. the light's gonna hit and reflect a little bit differently so yeah. you know while there are some surfaces like i think your video will show you and you already mentioned it actually here earlier like the silicone and others that are yeah. uh, have less porous surfaces that you know it's great every time um, these fabric ones, it's still, we're not saying don't do it. Yeah. We just have to be careful on the specific claims we make, but it's still smart. And one of the, I think one of the greatest benefits, um, something that's popular we haven't launched yet, but maybe we will, is a shoe sanitizer. Why do people do that? The number one reason is to get rid of the smell. Yeah. And I would argue that's actually pretty much a driving factor in why I disinfect that my is wristbands. True. Cause yeah, my, when I put my, watch in there like it does smell better Mm -hmm. than it did before yeah that smells coming from different types of germs Mm -hmm. so you know you're getting rid of that smell with uvc light so maybe you're a little less concerned maybe you're someone that's like 
oh, I don't, I don't care about that. My watch is like, well, you don't want it to smell, do you? Right. And so that's another great benefit of UVC light is that in the process of killing and disinfecting, it's also getting rid of any nasty smells. Yeah. So, and if you are someone who wants to make sure that these, these straps get Mm -hmm. fully cleaned, you can wash it separately, but you wouldn't want to wash this part. Sure. So this is something that would definitely benefit from sure the phone soap or the home soap because mm-hmm. you don't want to get water on these even though they say that they're mm-hmm. water resistant like that only goes up to a certain point mm-hmm. then they start breaking that that yeah. barrier down yeah so safest way is to d- take these apart wash this separately from this mm-hmm. and you'll you'll be good to go yeah love it um let's see was there any other like big things that stood out to you in that uh, article. Well, it's one of those articles that when it drops, you know, at phone soap, we're like, great, let's talk about it. Um, but like in my network, when I saw people talking about it, it was kind of like, well, yeah, we, we kind of already know this. So yeah. nothing groundbreaking. If you're interested in the science, read the articles. Um, but again, it's one of those things like the How Germany videos, we're not saying, you know, this is going to be um, the most important thing to disinfect, right? Mm -hmm. Your phones definitely are. Why? We touch them. They touch our face. They touch our hands, all of that. Yeah, you interact with your watch a little bit less, um, but we still think it's just one of those things for the smell and bacteria perspective. It's up there pretty high, right? It's living right next to your hands, Mm -hmm. and it's always there with you. So Yeah, and it's... It's in the bathroom with you. Mm-hmm. How we saw in one of our videos, when you flush the toilet, stuff is getting yeah. sprayed, and it's going to get on your it's, watch it's as well. It's passing right over the toilet. And so, so, yeah, so your your watch is exposed to a lot of stuff, and yeah, you don't really think about cleaning it. Yeah, um, and you'll, we'll probably say in every podcast, right? At phone soap, we don't we don't guarantee that you'll never get sick, but we can guarantee that that type of germs and bacteria on your devices is being killed. Yeah, so you make the connection on your own. Um, but the same thing with your watch, right? And we've talked about in the beginning of the episode, your immune system's phenomenal, but it's that, that burden over time is what breaks it down. And some people we know are stronger than others. Um, and it's, and it's good for your immune system to do its job, but you know, at phone soap, we're just trying to help out your immune system do its job, right? Mm -hmm. Which is lower that burden that you come in contact with every day because you're still going to get stuff all day right? And you're going to be okay. But these most important tech devices around us, we want to keep them disinfected and help our immune system do its job with everything else it's already coming in contact with every day. So we just don't want to make it worse, right? Yeah, exactly. Which this new tech has made our, you know, our lifestyles dirtier. So, so yeah, if you have, uh, yeah, if you have an interest in learning more about like a lot more scientific research done on watches and how germy they are. We'll leave a link to that in the, in the description and, and you can learn about this yourself. Cause there's a lot of good information in here. Yeah. We're here to educate and things like this. It's like, obviously mm-hmm. our watch is going to be dirty. Yeah. Um, just same thing with our phones. Obviously our phones are going to be dirty because mm-hmm. they're in our pockets all day. They're we're touching them. We're, mm-hmm. We touch everything and then we touch our phone. Yeah. Um, but it's just one of those things. It's like it's obvious, but do we do anything about it? Yeah. Right. And so, yeah, like you were saying, we don't we don't guarantee that you won't get sick, but this is definitely a way to help um, help your immune system to better right. fight off all these germs and bacteria. Mm-hmm. And again, if nothing else, make you smell better. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I I definitely don't want my my stinky watch. I remember as a kid that I would be like, yeah, wow. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's gnarly, <laughs> especially immediately after a workout. Yes. I I disgust myself. Yes. Um. But yeah, this is a a fun fun uh, episode. Learning about this kind of stuff will. We'll yeah, keep these I mean, things going. You know, most of you guys are smart. You've been using devices for a long time, but but a lot of times people wonder what to use it for. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I think this is one of the coolest. I love the headphone watch combo after workout, after morning yeah. lawn, whatever it is. They're always sweaty. They're always stinky. 
Um, I put them in there while I shower. You know, you come out at the same time it's done. In fact, I know people that use this are commercial stuff. And, and then people at home, again, who use this while they're in the restroom, right? It keeps them – keeps their phone away from the bathroom, disinfects it yeah. while they're washing their hands or cleaning up. And you kind of come out ready to go at the same time. So th- this is one of those that if you haven't thought about it, now you have. And, I, you know, we want you to enjoy your products. And if you don't know how to use them, you know, it's less enjoyable. Yeah. So this is this is one of my top faves for the disinfection devices. Yeah. And we would love to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, leave some comments. Uh, let us know. Uh, do you think that your watch is as dirty as your phone or do you think your phone is more dirty? That's a great question. We should look into that, huh? Um, but I sometimes I think it's my watch. Yeah, I, I agree. I do. I actually think it is dirtier. But again, it comes down to which one are you touching and putting your face more. I do. That's I still true. think the phone. Because yeah, the phone does go up to your Then face. comes back to you more. But this is a close second, especially now that you really do, you know, interact with text messages and others more and more as mm-hmm. these devices have become better and better. And if they ever do get, you know, FaceTime or whatever on here, again, you're just going to touch it more and more. And now – now it does come comparable with its impact to your life yeah. more and more. Yeah. So healthy hands, the healthy lifestyle, the electronics are touched by your hands more than just about anything else. And like you're saying, double purpose, mm-hmm. it disinfects it as well as gets rid of some of the yeah. stink. Which wasn't as big of a deal on the phones when we first started, but, but all of this new tech that we are putting here, right? Um, and our blessed old surface soap. Yeah. You could use to disinfect the inside of, you know, your shoes and otherwise. And so that is becoming more and more of a benefit as we as we put like toys, um, watches, obviously, and other things in here that that are smellier. And I had a leather case one time on my phone and that oh, yeah. one, that one That'll kept the smell a little bit stronger than a plastic case. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Anything else uh, mm. you think about this this topic? It's about all I got up here for now. That's good. Um, but we, like we said, we'd love to hear what you guys think. Yeah. Uh, leave some suggestions for topics that you would like us to, to bring up. Um, and really just ask us questions about anything. We're, Mm -hmm. we're here to, to answer those. Some, sometimes we can answer philosophical questions, but yeah, we can at least try. We'll, we'll do what we can. Like, where do germs come from? Where do they come from? Why are they here? (laughs) here? (laughs) And when we kill them, (laughs) where do they they go? go? Yep. (laughs) Um, so yeah, thanks for listening guys and watching and go check out the, how germy is it video that is posted right now on TikTok and Instagram. See you guys. See ya.